Armed white men show up and, and yell in the face of cops, but when protesters try to protest the murder of a black man by a white police officer, they're met with tear gas. Something's wrong here. Check this out, leave your comments, ding the bell, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel. A group of armed men, actually numerous groups of armed white men, have stormed numerous state capitals with guns and, and swastikas and obscenities and threats and putting their face right up in the face of police officers. And on the other side of this, what are we seeing? We're seeing uh, a, a black man in, um, in, Milwaukee, in, uh, in Wisconsin, in, uh, or excuse me, in Minnesota, being murdered by a police officer on video. And the police officers are being uh, given time off, really? I mean, this, this uh, F George, George Floyd is his name, as I recall. And it's just, I, it's like the, 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 the contrast between these two things is just mind boggling. Or, or uh, Amy Cooper, right? Uh, ironically, the, the, the black guy who was the bird watcher who was simply asking her to put her dog on, back on his leash because, you know, the dogs are not supposed to be running uh, without a leash in this park. And she says, you know, I'm going to call the police and tell them a black man is threatening me. And he's like, okay, I'm videotaping you. And she proceeds to do it. It's like white people know the kind of power that they have to use police to potentially kill black people. And now she's, you know, this, this Amy Cooper woman, she's, you know, on social media going, oh, I, you know, my life is ruined. I lost my job. I had to give the dog back. She should be in jail. It should be against the law to call the police without good reason on a black person, on any person, frankly. But specifically, we know what we're talking about here. So you've got a group of armed white men can show up at any state capitol and threaten any, any governor, including Gretchen Whitmer, a woman, you know, with a, with a you know, hanging her in effigy. She's the second one, by the way. They did this with Andy Bashir as well. And, you know, and he has spoken out and said, uh, did I say George Ford? Louise just texted me, it's George Floyd. I thought I said George Floyd. Um, in any case, um, you've got, you know, this, the, the governor came out and said, you know, th this is this is just this is just wrong, right? This this is just wrong. I you know, to go beyond that. I mean, and Amy Cooper knew what she was doing, and Christian Cooper, the the, the black man, the bird watcher guy, um, a decent man, a good man. Although that shouldn't matter. Right, having the police called on him by a white woman. I mean, th this is just, this is just crazy. The other thing that I wanted to point out, and you know, we can we can discuss here when we get to, to our phone calls, is Donald Trump being fact checked by Twitter. Donald Trump is so ignorant, and I mean this seriously. He is so ignorant that he believes that the First Amendment protects his right to say things on Twitter. Now, what I learned in the third or fourth grade when I took my first civics class in elementary school was that the Constitution and the Bill of Rights limit the power of government, not Twitter. I mean, back then there was no Twitter, but you get my point. That the Constitution and the Bill of Rights are our protection against government. Now, who is the head of our government right now? Donald Trump. And the courts have ruled that any proclamation that a president makes is an official proclamation. So Don Donald Trump, is, he's got it completely wrong. He says, oh, Twitter can't censor me. Twitter can't put little comments saying that I'm lying on my tweets, even when I'm lying through my teeth. Yes, they can. Twitter can do whatever they damn well please. Facebook is still letting his lies stand. In fact, Facebook is promoting his lies. 
has been all along. Facebook was promoting his lies in 2016. It's one of the reasons he's sitting in the White House. And Twitter has been promoting his lies up until now. And frankly, I saw this morning numerous lies by Donald Trump that did not have Twitter disclaimers on them. So you think Jack Dorsey's gonna back down? Trump is gonna open a commission. Republicans feel the social media platforms totally silence conservative voices. Right. There are more white supremacist groups on Facebook now than ever before. It has become white supremacist hate group central Facebook has.